He <laughs> copying me again. Calm yourself down, you run debugger. Calm yourself down. <laughs> oh dear me. What is going on, guys? And welcome back to the Vistorious Gaming Channel. Today, we are back in Path of Titans and we are back on Latrine's Protho. And we have a new sibling with us today. We have Char XO, which I believe is Astrid. So this would make her my full sister. This is also the Danon that was in the last episode that we did with Latrine with the babies. If you didn't watch that one, please go back and watch it. It is great. We, uh, we helped raise two of our mother's offspring and they happen to be our full-blooded siblings. They are same dad, same mom. So that is who Astrid is. And then we also have a another Danon on the way. I don't know whether it's a male or whether it's part of the crew or what. I don't, I don't think we've ever met this one. I might be wrong. I might be wrong. I'm not sure this might be a sibling of some kind. I don't know. They're on their way over anyway. I have no information on this this particular Danon at the moment. Maybe they just haven't done their registry. But at the moment, we have nothing on this one. So it could potentially be a sibling. It might be a male. We don't know. We don't know. It could be one or the other. So we shall wait and see what happens there. I was hoping Astrid would come and join me in the cave. Considering the cave's probably a bit drier. I know it's raining on screen, but they just haven't fixed caves yet. But it would appear that she's not going to join me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go down. I'm going to take a quick drink in the rain. Because Latrine's not afraid of anything. Not even little water. She likes to play sentry. She is known for being sentry. Whenever the lead female meets another uh, Dane on, on the... On our travels. Yeah, Latrine is normally sat somewhere around the front. Good, big and tall, looking round, seeing if she can see anything. She is a very protective Danon. But only protective of the family. Although she can fight with siblings, believe it or not. She has um she does have a tendency to fight with siblings. She actually looks very similar to this sister. I know this I think this sister's mosaic. Yeah, mosaic. So she's very similar to this sister. Obviously, we don't have a skin on because when I created her, I didn't have any skins unlocked, to be honest. And by the time I got to a point where I had skins unlocked, it was too late. She was uh, she was fully grown. It was a waste of time. I don't know why she didn't come up to the cave. She's always stopped here, even when she was... Uh, I think in the last video, didn't she fall asleep here for absolutely ages? She likes this little sleeping spot. I don't know why. I think the cave's much safer. But she likes, she likes this little spot, so we're going to sleep here for a little while. Until the rain dies off, I think. This is a male.
Perfect hunt, that. All right, let's take this back to uh, Astrid. Come on, sis, wake up. You are seeing a mating ritual going on here, guys. That's it, they're mating. <laughs> oh, don't do it with me as well.
Wolfie's here as well. Will she kill off my... Will mother kill off my children? I can't remember which one Jazzy is. <laughs> Never good. Just checking. Uh, may or may have died. Okay. The may or may... Have... Jazzy's father's already passed. So we're going to be going up on our own once we... If we get any babies. Because obviously... We don't want to uh, risk them getting killed by uh, our mother or our sisters. Here we go. Are we going to get anything? It doesn't look like Latrine's having any babies this time. We've been 10 minutes so far. No eggs have shown. No eggs have hatched so far. How unfortunate. It is what it is, though. Like, you're not always going to get... not always going to get uh, eggs hatch. Even uh, Alpha P may have only had one egg hatch so far. Well, that's that then. The eggs were lifeless for poor old... For poor old Latrine. It'd be interesting to see how this development... How this, uh, this batch of lifeless eggs affects her. She's not the motherly kind anyway. So, for her to be... Having children was a surprise in itself for, I think, everyone involved in the clan. But we'll see. Maybe another male will take her fancy and she'll go for it. But as it currently stands, she, I think she's a bit deflated after this one. I don't think she expected to have kids of her own. But she's feeling very down on herself at the moment. While she knew that she wasn't a very good mother, she probably wouldn't have been a very good mother. She still would have liked children, I suppose. It is what it is. Maybe next time for poor old Latrine. Maybe next time. Let's hope she doesn't decide to cannibalise this child. <laughs> In frustration of the fact that... Uh, The two eggs lay lifeless while her mother's hatched. One of her mother's hatched. The other two lay lifeless as well. Unfortunate. Of the six eggs, we only got one. Massively unfortunate. You can see Latrine's not her normal self. She's not running like she normally does. What is that? Oh... Oh, that's not good. 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 They're lightens, aren't they? I think they're lightens. It's not worth doing. Not worth. We've got a baby. They all—they were all up for the fight, weren't they? Yeah, I don't know whether we're outside the five minutes, but we're definitely still within the sound of the uh, of the waypoint, so we should still be all right, regardless. I knew I could do it. Oh, it's gonna go for that. Oh, 
Oh, it is hunting it. Look at it, hunting it. It's hunting it. Oh, it's gonna kill it. It's not doing the it's not doing a defensive stance. Oh Did it just break a bone? It just broke its bone. It just broke its bone. Oh, that sounds awful. That sounds awful. Broke its bone again. I don't think he survives this. I do not think he survives this. He's losing too much. He's not hunkering down. If he hunkered down, he might survive, but I think he's just a baby, so I don't think he's going to survive at all. This is death. Oh. Oh. There's not much this uh, this poor thing can do. It's Megala Megalania. Is it Megalania? There it goes. It's down. It's down. What is it? The Megalania, yeah. Absolutely battered him. I really could have done with food there. I suppose I'm still under half, ain't I? So I'm, ju I'm just under half. It's not like it's massively important to have food right this second. But. It's not improving Latrine's mood, that's for sure. Latrine is not happy. All her eggs were lifeless in this episode. In this day in her life, all her eggs were lifeless. She's getting hungry. She's getting snappy. She's not in a good mood. At all. Telling the baby off, the baby jumping over her, she's snipped at him twice. Latrine is not happy today at all. Nobody, none of the others have noticed yet, I don't think, but I think they will. They will soon. Shake it off, Latrine. Shake it off. No need to be so angry. One moody bird today, aren't you, Latrine? One moody bird. One moody bird. I suppose she would be. She just lost a clutch of eggs. Probably feels very upset by that. What are they all looking at? Oh, the T-Rex. I don't know whether the T-Rex logged or what there. Oh, there goes a the stego.
Kentrosaurus. I'm so hungry. There we go. Latrine's going to be in a better mood now. Just sat on a tree. Sat on a tree. He <laughs> copying me again. Calm yourself down, you run debugger. Calm yourself down. <laughs> oh, dear me. Coco is such... <laughs> Vulcan is such a randy fellow. <laughs> I can hear something. It sounds like... Oh, it's... Okay. I don't... I think that's probably too big for us to hunt. But I am hungry. And I am thirsty. And he is one heavy creature. And he's got battle scars. He knows how to fight. I think that thing would kill us. It's probably not worth even thinking about. He knows we can't attack him. He's not silly. Well, we could, but we'd probably all die. I probably died for it. Dash of colour, not too much. Plus, she's lazy to deal with fighting and rallying unless she has to. <laughs> poor, poor Vulcan's like, I don't know which one I want. I'm just going to copy both of them. <laughs> Vulcan's just copying both. Latrine's having a little nap. 
Little nap. She's filled herself up off the corpse of the shark, and now she's having a little nap. Overlord's ready to go. So she's scared of lightens, then. Astrid's scared of lightens. Ah, I just crashed into mum. We have just eaten, so... Oh, I'm I'm meshing I'm meshing through. Wipe them feet off. Wipe them feet off. He's trying, look. <laughs> He's trying still. He got a nasty snap off me. And then he started taking his... Uh, his chance with uh, Astrid there. <laughs> I don't like the fact that <laughs> Howell's got a uh, a grub on the end of a stick. This little birdie don't like that. I can see for miles around. Oh, he's going to sleep over there. That's that's uh, Eo. Is it an Eo? I think it was an Eo. <laughs> Finish with a group brawl. That is going to end today's episode. If you have enjoyed it, then please drop a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I will see you all for the next one very, very soon.